When working on an automotive battery, heavy equipment battery, truck battery, etc., you have to pay attention to the plurality. The battery has both positive and negative terminals. Generally speaking, they're marked. There are smart ways and not so smart ways to work on a battery. Now this battery is out of the vehicle because it makes it much easier for us to do a demonstration. But the key point from a safety point of view is to always remove the negative terminal first and when you finished working on your battery put the negative terminal on last. This will prevent the incidence of any sparks or any other damaging current flows. Now we come to another situation that affects a lot of old batteries, particularly ones that have had a poor terminal to post connection. And this typically happens on an older vehicle where the battery's been in and out a dozen times and nobody's tightened down the terminal correctly. So you get arcing and sparking. And what happens is, since the lead is soft and melts at a low temperature, the lead of the post gets eaten away and now when you go to put your terminal on it, it no longer fits because the terminal bore is much too big for the diameter of the post. Well, the quick fix for this, outside of getting a new battery, is to use a lead terminal shim. That's what these guys are. They fit over the terminal of the battery or the post, and then you put the terminal over it, and they take up the difference in space and now you can make a good mechanical and electrical connection. Now this battery isn't one so please bear with me. We're going to put this over the negative because that's where it's going to fit the best because the battery is practically brand new. And this will give you an idea of exactly how this thing works. And of course even if we have a uh, corroded and beaten up terminal we can slide it right over it and in most cases, this will take up the slack and make the battery useful again.